Hello everyone, welcome to the Message Central's video guide on how to use VerifyNow APIs to do a successful SMS OTP verification. I am Vasan, I am a full time software engineer. So today in this video, starting from what is Message Central to how to successfully send an uh, OTP to a user and successfully authenticating it. Message Central is a CPaaS solution basically which stands for Communication Platform as a Service where they offer SMS OTP APIs, OTP APIs and even WhatsApp Business APIs. So after you complete your sign up process you can log in into your dashboard using your credentials and you can easily get started right from here. We are going to integrate all those SMS OTP APIs using the VerifyNow API documentation. I will leave a link uh, through this documentation in the description box below. Please go through this documentation and please use this as the single source of truth while you are trying to integrate your APIs. So uh, before integrating their APIs, uh, let us understand how the SMS OTP verification works. So here in this picture, we have an user who is the actor and the actor will interact with the client side application it could be your mobile or web app using the uh, interface and this application will be responsible to communicate with the message central servers or your backend so firstly we need to authenticate ourselves with message central so for that purpose we need to use an api called generate token api so we call an api and this generate token api will give us an api token in response and our responsibility is to use this token as the authentication header to the uh, rest two APIs which is send OTP API and validate OTP API. Once you have the token with you, user will click on let's say some he will enter some mobile number and click on uh, send OTP. So our responsibility is to take that OT, uh, mobile number and if needed you can specify an OTP length it could be 4 or 8 or 6 and you can hit the send OTP API from your backend servers. So this end OTP API from message center will give back some response along with the uh, OTP. So user will receive an OTP once you click on this and once you hit this and OTP API and you at finally you are going to make use of this validate OTP API taking the OTP from the user and the verification ID from the send OTP API and in response if it is successful you get a 200 response saying that the OTP is validated and finally you are going to send the uh, verification response and uh, successfully authenticate your users. So first API which we discussed about is generate token API and the base URL is going to be cpass.messagecentral.com so for the gender token API, you need to pass the customer ID as the request param. So in this customer ID, you can easily get it from your message central dashboard. You take the customer ID and you send it in the request params of this particular authentication token API and you get a response as token in the JSON. And once you get the token and your uh, next task is to hit, use this and OTP API and we are going to since we are using the v3 version of apis we are using verification slash v3 slash send so in this send otp api it's a uh, post call we are going to pass the country code mobile number and flow type as the mandatory params and you uh, user will be sent an otp via an sms and this is the 200 response you get it and at last you take the otp from the user and you call this validate OTP API under v3 version and make sure you pass the auth token as the request header from your backend servers and you are going to also send the verification ID so basically this verification ID you get it from the send OTP response this is one thing you need to remember so this verification ID you get it from send OTP API response you take that verification ID along with the user entered OTP you send it to the validate OTP under v3 version to the message central servers and if the otp is successful then you get a 200 success response along with some metadata for the latest v3 announcements we have some cool new features which is customizable otp timers yes you can uh, customize the otp timeouts you can also uh, it, it, it also provides adjustable pricing models versatile delivery options and multi-channel strategy 
and these are the response codes uh, if you wanted to troubleshoot any of your api errors you can come back to this documentation and i will look on this and these are the faqs and troubleshooting uh, page like uh, all the most frequently asked questions are been placed here in case you are stuck at anywhere uh, where you don't get any expected response you can come back and check some frequently asked questions and maybe you can find your answers over here okay now let's see and how to integrate this apis in your code so for this uh, video i am using golang so to integrate all those three apis uh, so let's get started so we are going to start it from main.go uh, so firstly i'm going to use the go fiber package for the um, routes management and middleware i am also using a logger middleware and yeah so basically i have three apis as we discussed earlier one is to token api to generate the token and use the token api to authenticate with other two apis which is send otp and verify otp apis okay so now let's go one by one now let's see how this auth token is implemented so i have this gender token handler which gets called on this route auth slash token and yeah so this uh gender token is going to call a uh, gender token service which is present in the service package now let's see how this gender token service looks like so yeah so basically you are going to generate a token using this uh, url um so you can take this curl as example so using this url v1 slash authentication slash token and we need to pass two things here one is customer id which is mandatory and is key which is also mandatory okay so customer id you'll get it from your message central dashboard which is unique to you and you also need to pass one more request param which is key key is nothing but your you have to take your message central's account password and do a base six base 64 encoding so there are so many tools available over the internet you can so you can take your message central password paste it here and it will give you the base 64 encoder version of it so take that base 64 encoded version of it and place it over here and or you have to pass it as a key to this api once you have it this url you will be getting a response and you are sending back the token from this service okay now we have successfully have token with us now our next most important step is to send an otp to a particular user let's say user clicked on a send otp button on an application so we are going to call this uh, send otp method which internally calls send otp service so this send otp will require some params okay now let's go back to the documentation so what we need we need auth token which we got it from the previous api and we also need to pass three other mandatory params which is country code mobile number and flow type flow type can be sms whatsapp or email but for now we are going to check with sms only so you are going to get the auth token which we stored it in our previous uh, auth token service and you are going to finally hit that um, send otp api and otp will be successfully sent to that particular user this is the response you get back and at the final step once the user has entered his otp which he received through this carrier sms you need to pass that otp and along with the verification id so you need to call this validate otp api so this validate otp function will internally call a validate otp service so we are going to use verification slash v3 slash validate otp api and we are going to pass in the verification id which we get in the send otp response okay so now we have this validate otp obviously we'll passing auth token you can see we are assigning the auth token header here and we are going to pass in the verification id which we get it from the send otp api response and also we are going to pass the otp user entered otp okay so once you have all the required details you can make an api call to this uh validate otp v3 version api and in if the otp verification is successful you successful response which is going to look like this response code 200 okay now, now let's see this in action now i have this uh golang service running on my local with the go run main.go so i have this gender token which is a post call so in this gender token i am passing some data okay so yeah so all the data will be passed in the code so i have this gender token api so which is a post call i am going to hit this so yeah in return i have got this token as the response okay 
so this token will be used as a authentication header to send otp and validity otp in our local server now our next step is to uh, send an otp to my mobile number so this is the send otp api call uh, it's an app facing api so that's why app slash send otp these are not your message central api otp APIs. these are your backend server api but message central communication APIs are listed in the documentation in a different format like verification slash v3 slash send. You need to pass some body with the post call, mobile number, country code is India, that's why 91. Flow type is SMS and OTP less default is 4. Now I'm going to click on send. Yeah, I've got a 200 response saying that OTP has been successfully sent along with the verification ID. I'm going to copy this verification ID now I am going to the validate OTP API. So in this validate OTP API, so I have, this is a get call basically. I have to pass two qu query params. One is verification ID, which we get it from the send OTP API response. You need to use that verification ID here and you need to enter the OTP, which I got it in my mobile. So I got 71. 07 as the OTP to my mobile number. Now let me hit on send. So yeah, so the OTP has been verified successfully. So, uh, as, as you can see, I got the success response saying that your users uh, has been successfully authenticated via the Verifino APS with the SMS OTP verification. And for those who wanted to migrate from V2 to V3 APIs, so please go through this documentation. It's very straightforward. You just need to replace your endpoints from uh, like earlier. It used to be a different endpoint, but now it is verification slash V3 slash send, which is a part of V2 to V3 migration. And similarly, you have to do for validate OTP API as well. It's verification slash V3 slash validate OTP. And for generate token API, the endpoints remains the same. It's v1 slash authentication slash token. And your base URL always remains the same. cps.messagecentral.com So that's all. Thank you for watching this video.